Have you ever wondered what your deepest fear looks like? Picture this the year is 2017, and a chilling horror film named it hits the silver screen, an American supernatural sensation. This gripping tale is the handiwork of director Andy Muschietti and scribes Chase Palmer, Kerry Fukunaga, and Gary Doberman. It is a haunting echo of the classic 1986 novel by Stephen King, covering the first half of the book's timeline. The film showcases the stellar performances of Jaden, Lieberhar, and Bill Skarsgård in the lead roles supported by a talented ensemble cast. Have you ever wondered what your deepest fear looks like? Picture this the year is 2017, and a chilling horror film named it hits the silver screen, an American supernatural sensation. This gripping tale is the handiwork of director Andy Muschietti and scribes Chase Palmer, Kerry Fukunaga, and Gary Doberman. It is a haunting echo of the classic 1986 novel by Stephen King, covering the first half of the book's timeline. Lieberhar and Bill Skarsgård. In the lead roles supported by a talented ensemble cast, now imagine a quaint town named Derry, nestled in the heart of Maine. This seemingly peaceful place is where our story unfolds, punctuated by the spine, chilling emergence of the eponymous it from the city's sewers, but what happens when these fears turn into a terrifying reality? Let's delve deeper into the storyline. In the quaint town of Derry, seven outcasts find themselves forming an unlikely bond. Enter the Losers Club, a band of seven children, each distinct, each burdened with their own personal demons. There's Jaden Lieberhurst's character, a stuttering yet determined leader, Jeremy Ray Taylor, the chubby and lovable new kid in town, who's quick to share a smile. Sophia Lilla's the only girl in the group, whose fiery spirit is matched only by her compassion. Finn Wolfhard, the wise, cracking comic relief, whose laughter often masks a deeper fear. Wyatt Olaf, the cautious and thoughtful one, always armed with a factor. To chosen Jacobs, the outsider, whose quiet strength is a pillar for the group. And Jack Dylan Grazer, the hypochondriac, is only amplified by the horrors they face. In the heart of Derry, these seven children are bound together not just by their status as outcasts, but by a shared terror, shape-shifting entity. Yet it's not just about the fear of a monstrous being. Each of these children grapples with their own personal demons, from the fear of illness to the dread of abusive homes. And this eponymous being, it exploits these fears, feeding off their terror. But there's something remarkable about the Losers Club. In the face of such horror, they find strength in their camaraderie, in their shared experiences. They band together standing up to their fears, refusing to let the terror consume them. Courage and a resilience that belies their young age. The Losers Club is more than just a group of friends. They are a testament to the power of unity. In the face of adversity, a beacon of hope in a town gripped by fear, their story is one of bravery. But will that be enough to survive the horror that lurks beneath? A sinister being awaits this eponymous entity, known only as it is not just a monster, but a manifestation of pure, unadulterated fear. It emerges from the shadows, taking on the form of whatever its victims dread most. Each encounter is a chilling performance, a tailored spectacle of terror, that exploits the deepest fears of the children. The suspense is palpable. Every time it makes an appearance, the horror isn't just in the scale, but in the anticipation the not knowing when or where, or how it will strike next. Every shadow becomes a potential hiding spot. Every noise a possible sign of its presence. This is no ordinary monster. It is an embodiment of the unknown. The unseen, the unfathomable. One can only wonder, can they conquer their fears and defeat the monster? 
Overcoming fear is no easy task, especially when it takes on a form as terrifying as this. The climax of the movie. It takes us on a spine-chilling journey, where the children members of the Losers Club confront their fears and the eponymous being. Each child, armed with their personal courage and camaraderie, faces the monstrous entity that has been haunting them. The confrontation is an intense showdown, a collision of childhood innocence and supernatural terror with the town of Derry. The stakes are high the tension palpable. The children's fears take on a tangible form. In the shape of the terrifying creature, a manifestation of their worst nightmares. Without revealing too much, let's just say that the confrontation is a testament to the power of friendship and the human spirit's resilience. To find out if they succeed, you'll have to watch the horror unfold for yourself. In the face of terror, bravery can emerge from the most unlikely places. We've journeyed through the spine chilling tale of Stephen King's it, exploring its origins, the Courageous Losers Club, and the terrifying entity that emerges from the sewers along the way we've delved into the climax that forces these young heroes. This tale serves as a stark reminder that fear is only as deep as the mind allows. Until next time, stay scared and stay curious.